The 30th World Bar Billiards Championships were held in Jersey over the weekend. With 163 entrants, including 64 teams, the event is huge on the billiards calendar. The basic aim of Bar Billiards is to get a higher number of points than your opponent. That sounds simple enough. But then you can only hit certain balls in from certain shots. You only have a finite amount of time to do it in. And if you make a mistake, you could lose all your points. Not quite so simple then. These 163 entrants are all playing for the title of world champion. And to get to this stage, it's taken years. It's not easy now. It takes, I would think, 12 years of practice and dedication to reach the top. And then you've got to keep practicing. I myself practice at least four times a week now to try to stay in the top three or four in the Channel Islands. If you don't do that, then you won't retain your ranking. Then it gets obviously harder to get your island place, for instance. You know, you just, um, you just won't stay up there. You've got to practice, practice and practice. As we've said, the main aim is to get as many points as possible by continuously knocking in the balls. If you keep doing that, then your opponent doesn't get to the table. Each ball you knock in, you get points for. Different holes have different number of points. What you don't want to do is knock the pegs down. If you knock down the white, you lose the points from that break. If you knock down the black, you lose everything. But where does the game come from? It's only played south of Oxford and in the Channel Islands. So is it a good old-fashioned pub game? Surprisingly, the answer is no. No, it, actually the word bar doesn't refer at all to the word bar from a pub. It, it refers to the bar on the table, which is on a timing mechanism, which drops to stop the balls coming back. It acts as a bar after the allocated time, which is between 16 and 17 minutes, has been reached. The balls don't come back. They get in the holes and they stay against the bar. And when the balls have all been cleared on the table, then the game is finished. The person with the highest accumulator points wins the game. So just how difficult is it? Well, I can tell you it's a lot tougher than these lot make it look.